he kind of fumbled it somewhat. I don't really end. know what to think, Harry. I'd like to think that Vitality can keep things going, but maybe the momentum for Na'Vi will put them in their place. I mean, this is actually the map overpass. The map that Na'Vi, Na'Vi lost 16-14 uh, in that 2-0 loss to Hard Legion that knocked them out of the group stage in the road to Rio CIS. Obviously coming in as the top team of the region in both groups, they don't even make it to the playoffs. And overpass was a factor in that series. So it's Dust 2, but Na'Vi picked that up just a minute ago. So, a different day. And Na'Vi are here to stay. Very passive setup early on. We got Boomich on the kit. Na'Vi with 2 on A right now. Three towards that lower site with Boomich playing heaven, allowing him to rotate very fast. Vitality flashing out B short. Flamey's watching as players outside the monster. It's a quick execute into B. Heavy setup here for Na'Vi. Here come the Frenchman. RPK leading the charge. He's the only one with kills. Both of his teammates dead. RPK with a second, almost a third. Shock steals it away. And Vitality have control of the site, but they're getting flanked. Yeah, electronic in through short, but he's left in this 1v3, and he does deal with all mate shots. Now looking for a follow-up, but another for electronic. Oh, he's gonna do damage, but not find the kill. Onto RPK, who just about holds his ground. Now, Hugo, I got a little interesting stat line for you on stat this. Me, Harry. One, right? So Vitality in the matches that they've played on this uh, it, it, in recent times. So I'm just going off the last three months, right? Yeah, nice and easy. Uh, they they average, I've just done the math here, mate, 32.25 rounds each time they play this map. <laughs> Pretty cool. That, yeah, that was like the Road to Rio playoffs, though. That's, that's, you know, the average the average playoff game RTR was 32 rounds. The average game, by the way, over regulation. It's kind of ridiculous. Counter-Strike is very competitive right now. As Na'Vi just showed us, right? Vitality looked like they had it a lock in. Blair was saying that game felt done. He was ready to pack it up, pack it in. And Na'Vi, well, they just begin out of nowhere with seven in a row. Simple. That's a start. Finds Masuta in connector. And he's going to go back towards middle where two C or two T's sit. He won't sit for long. RPK removes him from the round and Vitality speed up towards A. There's only one man here. Na'Vi are going to have to throw in one quick rotation from this B bomb site. Jumping on the site is electronic, but needs to be very careful. That smoke is going to slow Vitality down, but the bomb is still here and they look to commit. Vitality have just let Na'Vi rotate into A though, and if they still go towards his site, they are just walking into a three-man setup. Cool. That'll do. And now, this is a problem. He sees that player walking away. He sees Apex walking towards Connector. So Na'Vi might read that as a B play. And yeah, they have. They've dropped two players off towards that lower site. And now Vitality, they were just rerouting them long. It was just Apex holding Con. And now they're going to commit into an unsuspecting Na'Vi. And that smoke has given up the end of the game. So the element of surprise is gone. And they've slowed down a bit. Smoke's actually come through for Na'Vi. Zaiwu does win that first fight, but at quite the cost. And right now, Perfecto, all he's got to do is buy time to allow these rotations to come in. And actually, he does more than that. He shuts down the first man. Now, the trade comes through from Shox, but these players are already here. Shox has the bomb, and he dives far forward over at the dumpster. Zywe retrieves it, but he's not ready for the repeat from Flamey. This is the round. It's dead to right. Na'Vi, they're going to find the force by Team Ace. Everyone pulling their weight there and then. And that's exactly what you want to see. So Vitality, they continue their, their, their good look of being able to pick up pistol rounds in this series. But this time it's them not finding the conversion. Oh, with Na'Vi now having a full control over the economy in their favor. Just Deegs on the other side. This should be a simple affair for Na'Vi. Man in question falling back to the toilets of the M4. He's got electronic alongside him to play for a closer range. Gamble, of course, on this map is, is that long position. Na'Vi leaving it open early, but banking on the fact that Vitality won't just run up towards the A site from there. Simple lines up a couple. He gets a good bit of damage there. Gets tagged as well, though. Electronic receiving a deagle shot as he falls back. Simple swings, saves his life. Apex lo uh, lost in the round. And Simple, he's running out of ammo. He needs to tap. He's going to find a third. Pistol out, eventually finished off. But that's when the swing comes in. And Electronic does not want to let Vitality scavenge guns. He will just scavenge corpses. And put Na'Vi up 2-1 in this third map.
Hero AK on Zaiwu in this round. Uh, surrounded by Glocks, though, so really relying on Zaiwu to do something here. As Vitality, they have nothing to fall back on once he's dead. I don't think I love it. No. I don't think I love the Hero AK with Glocks around, around it. No. Maybe they're able to surprise us, Hugo. Maybe Zaiwu isn't to be trifled with. However, this is the danger, right? Like, with him winning that fight, okay, cool. The AK has gotten the first kill. But Zaiwu is now 32 points of health. If anyone else grabs that gun, which they're not able to do, no one's gotten it yet, so that's not going to get retrieved. It's not like you can throw this gun around really. Like, you know, you still want to keep it on Zaiwu. He is the armored player in this round. You're hoping he can get a bit more done. Electronic. And with Electronic seeping in through long, Ooh. he's caught a very good timing here to really shut down this round. He's also heard them all as well. They ran round through middle. So it's like, you know, it's not just the flank, it's the info. He knows he's right and he knows he's in the correct place. That is a hell of a spray. Maybe could have been a little more safer or more careful on that fight. Instead, he just tries to commit to the transfer. All right, let's go. And yeah, Zai one AK, that's all you need, man. Yeah, just kill everyone. Let's just send your Glocks in. Maybe the grenade. This is buy every Ooh. round. Yeah, just four Glocks every round. Let's Iwu <laughs> ace. And well, Vitality, what? that's what they're relying on right now. The grenade has taken the plant off after Apex put down the numbers. And now Na'Vi need to go. They're running out of time. They've got kit. Flash up for flame, you get a set perfecto into the site. And with armorless players majoritarily on the side of Vitality, this could be cleaner perfect for perfecto. He's got to clear this corner though, not looking at it. Mizuta swings and looks to do damage, but whiffs on the shot. RPK with a gun and with a chance, he takes a player off of the bomb. And Flamey now running out of seconds has to stick it or it's a loss. The RPK, he's already locked in the round. Excellent work from Vitality. Saiwu with three, RPK with two, and we lose the Glocks. Bad. Okay, I'll admit it. I was wrong. Zaiwu, Hero AK, that is all he needs. It turns out no limitations from it because he is just that damn good. And uh, ridiculous. It, it's kind of wild that he gets away with, with so much in this round. Like three kills from him allows RPK to retrieve the M4. And he's made me eat my words. So very impressive from Zaiwu. Like that was an extremely high risk and uh, high reward kind of round. And boy, are they reaping the rewards right Yeah, because the danger there, if you get nothing done, so he gets slaughtered with no plant, no kills. So we can't buy in this round. And so either he has to take a deagle or someone else does. Good flash, but no kill behind it. Everyone just spams when they're blinded. And the bomb goes right into the beat box. So actually thrown towards the bridge. The crossfire is absolutely excellent. Perfecto doubles up before he gets traded. But Mazuta won't stand tall on the site. Simple from above. Lays down some AWP shots and shocks in a clutch. Oh dear, they know where he is now. The grenade's not going to do a thing because the player of the pit is crossed to the left side and Shox walks out to go short, but this just allows more time for Navi to set up and get ready. Wow. If you're Shox, you are not happy with this. You've snuck all the way around to short and as you arrive, smoke goes down. So he's denied any vision into this site. And even then, right, with him not appearing from anywhere else, if you're Na'Vi, you're leading towards him being behind this smoke. They're all looking at it. All brains out from heaven. It's a missed shot from Simple. However, it's not like that's given Shocks a world of opportunity here. He's going to reroute back around in towards Monster. But with 20 seconds, Shocks has got to go on a real spree at this B bomb site. Simple still locking it down from heaven. Two players inside of the site. This is not an easy round for Shox. He's desperately trying to bait the peak from heaven. And while he's fixated on that, electronic swings over the top of the box to find this third round for Na'Vi. Tack pause now on the vitality side of things. And it's one of these awkward scenarios where, you know, you are kind of... I don't want to see you staring on the barrel of like a double eco because you're not, but you are on a man like Zai Wu. Are we going to see another risky eight purchase here from Team Vitality? Because RPK does have the money to drop something over. Alternatively, it could just be a full eco with RPK dropping two AKs in this follow-up round. So I'm curious to see what the decision is from Vitality. We know they're already thinking outside the box. And RPK, he is going to buy up the hero AK this time around. We've seen it work. We won't doubt it, Harry. We'll fully believe. But... Ooh, Zaiwu's going to join him as well. He actually has the armor Galil. So, yeah, go for it if you're Vitality. A couple of guns, a full force into this round. And some Deagles as well. Decent buy. 
really all they could muster. That grenade put RPK down low, not the start he wanted. And we have that orb still on simple, sat at the A site, watching short. We have Electronic Deep pushed up on long and three on B for Na'Vi. Very slow T side for Vitality right now. They are crawling to the connector, barely having taken mid. Boomage flashing his teammate into a short peak, but right now Flamey sees the door and he knows Vitality have connector. That's going to hint towards an A play. Might even cause an early rotation considering Na'Vi have control of the B short area, or at least did. Vitality go up the stairs and try and get their way towards the A site, but look at the setup. It's simple. It's electronic. Brothers in arms side by side, ready and waiting. Here we go, simple. Not for the chance just yet, but he knows there's a lot of players over in toilets. Team Vitality, they're gonna go back and start to probe over here towards Connector, and actually Shock's going for a uh, a long check Ooh. into the back line, just making sure that they're not getting flanked during all of this. Still setting up outside of A, and with 30 seconds left, they do have to start to make a move. Electronic has shut down this first man. They know he's trapped out on a limb over here towards Long, but he's just not giving them this fight. Great display of restraint from Electronic, and that's because he knows he's got Simple, the ever-watchful eye at this A side of the map. It's all left on to Masuta with just the Deagle, and he's not able to find anything. So a flawless round for Na'Vi. This time the Force fight does not give the results Vitality wanted. Defuse coming through and with a bomb plant with loss bonus achieved. You can bring something into this round of your vitality. But it's not gonna be uh, it's not gonna be the full purchase by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, better to hold off, maybe throw in a quicker B approach or a fast con rush to be short, something like that. Save your cash for the rainy day. You don't want Vitality to go on too many of these force buys, right? Like obviously, you know, you can get baited in by the fact that you win one, but after that very round, Vitality will not be allowed to do it again. It's going to have to be the Deegs here and now. Na'Vi taking liberties. Look at Electronic. He is deep in the middle area, pushing with the grenade. It's going to land a bit of damage. 50 across two players. Vitality hedging their bets towards long. This is a good call. Na'Vi have not played this position really at all in the CT side. And so Vitality have finally worked that out and they're going to try and run the gauntlet up towards A. Na'Vi, they know it's on a timing. They know they have to check it eventually. But does Simple have that in the back of his mind? Because look at Apex. Look at how deep he's got him. And he's tucked as well, so Simple won't see him off in the jump spot and thinks this area is clear. The pressure's coming up on short side. Electronic deals with the first man. Simple follows up with two. Deagle out. He's looking to spam him down. And RPK is all that stands, not for long. Simple with three. Electronic with two. And that's the duo for Na'Vi putting up a fifth. Double molly setup over here in mid. This is going to keep Vitality a little bit slow on the approach over on this mid control, but no one's peeking for Na'Vi on the back of it. It's not too uncommon with that double molly setup to see players try and get aggressive into mid on the back of it, right? Like knowing that you're going to slow the progress either to th either over to Fountain or into uh, into Park. That's not the case for Na'Vi in this round. However, Vitality they are worried. That's the case. They take a lot of time clearing this mid area. While all this has gone on, they've lost shocks down here towards B. Now Masuta creeping in through the connector. He's got to go blow for blow with an electronic, and he's got to come out ahead. If Vitality want to get back into this round, he gets caught looking the wrong way at the wrong time. And now for Vitality, they're kind of hamstrung. They're stuck up over here in middle. They've got to go all the way back towards T-Ramp to get this bomb. And they've got no map control down towards B. This leaves them vulnerable to a lot, right? Na'Vi... Looking like Flamey's kind of toying with the idea of pushing the short control. Electronic's gone very, very deep into the connector as well. And so Na'Vi might be one step ahead in terms of the information in this round. They're not pressured to rotate anyone around out of position. They'll keep this stand. And Flamey's gotten contact over towards short. This is all happening while Electronic still sat lying in wait at the back of connector. And so this leaves Apex in a 1v5. 
Ooh, it flashed out. He's going to fire off the shot, and that gives away his position. But he probably wants to die at this point. 15 seconds. Don't want Na'Vi killing him after time. And even though he goes down, at least his money is equal with his team. It's also pretty bad. 3,000 a player means Vitality are broke again, and Na'Vi are building into this CT side to big effect. Again, I'm going to reiterate it because it's been clear on every map so far. That T side for Na'Vi leaves something to be desired. They did pull a seven round comeback on Dust2 to win the map, but you know, in Nuke, it was non existent. And for the longest time in Dust, it was the same. So Na'Vi are really going to need a lead in this first half. They can't 8 7 8, they're going to need 9 6, I think, at a bare minimum. And Vitality at least not going to be putting up many rounds of these pistols, you would assume. Simple's pushed back. He realizes Vitality going fast into middle. He doesn't want to die and give them an orb in a round like this. So, playing a lot safer position. Ooh. God, that is a close call for Electronic. Apex on the other side, and he actually gets back to the site safely. So, it's no worry for Electronic in this round. And Simple's now taking that long position. And Electronic pushing back up to the toilet, mowing down two. There's the trade. Simple gets one. Deeg out deals. Or tries to deal with Apex, but doesn't get much done. Shox is now alone, and he's late to this site as well. The bomb's been lost. The round follows, and Na'Vi keep up appearances on this CT side. 7-2, to two, the gun getting shot over, and that's going to be Na'Vi just keeping up appearances, Harry. Pretty pretty safe, pretty standard. Vitality not getting away with all too much. Yeah, it was a slow start to the day for Na'Vi, right? On Nuke, it looked like maybe they got caught sleeping at the wheel a bit, Hugo. But then, Dust2, they turn that map around, and boy, they come into Overpass firing on all cylinders. Head and shoulders above Vitality right now, and you're hoping that, that they can turn it around on the Vitality side and that they can put up a bit of a, a, a T-half here. I will say, you know, based on what we've seen from Na'Vi thus far, does feel, or I don't know if it's more Na'Vi or Vitality, but their CT sides for Vitality have been great. So I think it's pretty oh. essential that Na'Vi keep this good streak up. Electronic with the aggression and a chance at a double kill, but he gets traded. And RPK and Apex, they've actually opened up this A bomb site. Na'Vi, the alarm bells are going off. They're having to rotate away from B. However, this bomb, look at it. Shox has had to go all the way back to T-Rap to go ahead and pick that up. This is going to give Na'Vi plenty of time to rotate these players in. However, kind of a double-edged sword, because in lieu of a bomb plant, Flamey is still considering, like, maybe they're really late playing B. Like, maybe this is a really elaborate fake. And I think at this point, even he's started to realize that's not the case. Oof. He'll begin his rotation up. A three-on-three, three, though. And this delayed bomb plant could cost Vitality dearly. As these smokes start to fade, they've only got one on Masuta. Only one angle could be cordoned off. And Boomich goes pushing through the back, looking to get stuck in to this A site. Ooh. A nice kill from Flamey. Let's remove RPK, leaves this round open in a two-on-two. Flamey two. continuing to carve a path. And with Perfecto stepping up alongside him, Na'Vi are going to get back into this round. A defuse to come through. And eight on the board now for Na'Vi. Yeah, this is really, really good. Na'Vi not overstepping there. A lot of teams would, right? You you hear the fact of like how to take the site. You want to you wanna flash out. You want to get aggressive. But Na'Vi, they, they're they patient. They wait. They know exactly what's going on. And yeah, Vitality bring the bomb eventually. The second Na'Vi hear it go down, they double flash out. They push very fast and they trap the players on the site. Vitality aren't able to fall back and play the post plant. And that's the thing, right? In that round there, it's it's kind of a case where Vitality, they weren't expecting to to be given the situation they were given, right? With Electronic going aggressive into party and dealing with the man in mid, getting that advantage, they try and fast play into A. But that was like never the the aim of that round. That was never the, the goal from the outset. And so the, the pieces just weren't in the right place for Vitality. They were looking to just hold that default and play late in the round with the player just rotating back. Probably was going to be shocks away from B to grab that bomb or vice versa, right? Just depending on where the kills come in. And because they go so fast into A, they get all that success. Shox is just so late on the rotation with the bomb. And... Ultimately, it feels like that's what betrayed Vitality there. Would have been a very different round if you weren't able to take those 3v4 gunfights at the A site without a bomb planted, right? Like, if the pressure's applied, it's a very different round. But Na'Vi still looking good. Uh -oh. Boomich was just holding connector. However, the moment he's peeled off, Vitality are trying to get out into mid. Danger's been dodged, though. They take passive lives back inside of the toilet. Simple's actually going to play close to this smoke. Vitality, while well, it looked like they wanted to take mid, they decided against it. They have this smoke thrown over. They've tried to fake out the mid control while gearing up for this B-side play. 
This is a good molly. Boomish is going to tag the player below him. Apex has to move, and they could move him into wall band positions. Instead, he just smokes it off because he knows now he's going to get aggressive off the back of that Molotov. Flamey does, and Boomish with a grenade will finish the job. That's a nice combo for Navi. I love the utility. Now they've got to have a hold with the rifles. They have three players in the pit. This is a mess. Vitality don't know what they're walking into, and they're going to come to regret it. Spraying down his perfecter with one. Mizuta trades, but it's come at a cost, and that cost is the round, unless Shox has a one on four in him. 30 seconds to get it done oh. in, and he don't, might not have the one on four in him, but he does have a bullet lodged in him. That's courtesy of Boomich, fin finished off by Flamey. Nine on the board for Narby, and Team Vitality, this is a huge deficit to be sat up. A partial investment looming in this round, I'm imagining. Two players, you know, alternatively could get relegated down to Galil's, but at this point, I kind of want to see Vitality prioritize the money a bit more, and maybe look to bring an AWP out on someone like Zywu. I say someone like Zywu, it would be on Zywu. Someone like Zywu, not Zywu. Yeah, like, like, not, not Zywu like, specifically, you know, a type but just of someone player. like yeah. Zywu. Right? If only there was someone like Zywu, but there yeah. wasn't actually <laughs> Zywu, you know? Masuta, let's see, he got tagged through the wall bang early on, and this round is a slaughter. Na'Vi, they keep it under wraps, they keep this B site under lock and key. Look at the bank accounts on Na'Vi right now. Everyone has so much money. They're fine. They, they could literally just be buying up these orbs time and time again. They could be bringing double orb setups into play. They're not losing the, these bank yeah. accounts before the half comes to a close. One big problem for Vitality right now on the sea side is every time they've executed, they've walked into a stack. They've walked into three players pretty much every time, right? Even on those rounds where they forgot the bomb and Na'Vi have like four players outside of A waiting because they know Vitality are about to plant. Vitality keep rushing and, and that's, you know, it, it can be hard to get out of this hole in overpass when nothing's working. When you're like, we tried A, man. We tried B. Nothing Things working like obviously then you need to start throwing in fakes then you need to start using the connector and getting that control early right taking b water putting pressure on b forcing rotations going up con silently faking b and then hitting a stuff like that you know what? keeping things dynamic keeping navi on their toes navi have always had the information they've always known where this bomb is going and stuff like this like look at this double setup in con right now this is a great example navi have all the info they know vitality are outside of b Ooh, but the flash is good. Doesn't matter. Perfecto still swings Ooh. and takes one down. Flamey. Oh, he's retrieved the AK off the ground. He's hopping, jumping around, and somehow he gets away with another. It's all left on to Zaiwu, who doesn't commit into B right away. He tries to go back for this con fight. And in doing so, it's given Boomich time. He was in the connector with Simple. He cross cat and gets into B. Now Zaiwu's found him. Giving himself a 1v2. Simple in the site with the orb does have that Deeg as his second. He's using the big three. He's going to best fire. Simple. That was close either way, but Simple wins it out. 11 on the board for Na'Vi. Round 14 of the half, and once again, the money is a problem for Team Vitality, but at this point, you might even be tempted to just keep these forces on up. And that looks to be the decision. Vitality have two opening kills in this map so far, and we are 14 rounds in. It certainly doesn't help that they can't find advantages and, you know, be allowed to fall back into, you know, five on fours where they can execute into a site knowing Na'Vi are split 2-2. Two, two. They've just not had that luxury. They actually waste two smokes, not waste, but use two smokes getting past that double Molotov in middle. That's a lot of utility, a lot of dedication. You you often see one smoke get used, but usually they just abandon that second. If, if, you, if you've used two smokes here for Vitality, that surely means you're planning to go fast into this A site, oh, right? Like, they're set up over at long, they're set up in toilets. And that looks to be the decision. Throw a close smoke over here towards Long. That's going to allow them to aggress oh. up close behind it. Simple. He's actually... I think he's holding for this boost on over. I it thought he going to throw a nade. Yeah. There it is. That goes in a little bit later. Yeah, he keeps checking. He thinks they're going to try boost up for the peek into the site. And they're not. They're pushing close to this smoke. So Simple readjusting. And he's not even needed. Electronic with the mow down. And now... 12 on the board for Na'Vi. I don't even know, man. Like, the, Na'Vi went from looking like the same team at the Road to Rio in the CIS division and, and then just, like, remembered, oh, wait, hang on, we're incredible. And and, and then it's all just clicked into place. Yeah. Like, I don't know what's happened it, it only... in between Nuke, Dust, and now Overpass, but Na'Vi, they are hitting the ground running and they're looking to sprint away with this series under their belt. Maybe Na'Vi had an epiphany at 49 down on Dust 2 because since that very round, since that point, Na'Vi have looked like an entirely different team and they've made Vitality really struggle in this game. None of the calls have worked, none of the reads.
walking into stacks. And even in that round where they don't walk into a stack, the two players on their A site just shred vitality. And that's a problem, right? For Na'Vi, what are your options for vitality? You walk into a three-man B setup, or you walk into simple, uh, simple and electronic on A. Neither of those options are very fun for vitality. And, well, simple is going to make them worse by the moment he finds a kill traded quickly. Electronic gone. This is a chance. This is a round for vitality. Carved the path to a victory. Boomish has pushed out to drop the bomb. There's no one here to stop him. There will be a trade from lower, but actually Boomish runs away. Oh, I was going to say, if he got away with that, that would be worse than murder. But RPK has kept Vitality in this round by the skin of their teeth. A bomb plan allowed and a two-on-two -two retake for the half. Two-on-three, rather. Vitality, they've peeled off. They've taken extremely passive post plants here because they want to do everything in their power to deny these early fights to Na'Vi. They are just playing for this bomb plant right now. And this is the perfect way for Vitality to be dealing with this. They triple peak the moment that... Well, this is a very, very one-sided matchup. Na'Vi, 12 to 3 here on Overpass. And these Betway odds coming into this third map were in favor of Vitality. And now... They're not, Hugo. <laughs> but I remember, Harry, guess, remember, oh I want to be realistic here. Remember every T side for Navi today. It has been a real roller coaster, a real rocky right. road. And, you know, back on Nuke, one See, round. I'm remembering it, but also, I'm trying to be realistic, Hugo. 12 3 for Navi, <laughs> right? Like, if they end up giving this one away. Yeah. That's a, that's a hard pass from me. Like, uh, <laughs> I don't know how they would. Um, however, this pistol round would be a good time for Vitality to, to begin this comeback. If they yes. were ever going to, this round feels like a necessity. So let's see if they can get it under their belts. Boomich down here, creeping his way into connector. But Apex up here on this boost. You have to be real quiet because Apex... Ah. Oh, that's not what he wanted from this position. Now trying to get out of there and does live to tell the tale, even landing a blinded shot onto Boomich. He's lost his teammate in Mizuta and now this B play is looking to come through, but RPK at the barrels, tag Dink. The flashes are helping him out and he's still doing damage. They can't oh, get past my. RPK. I think he's got one bullet left in the USP. He's still looking for fights. Perfecto. Now in this one on three. And Perfecto. Outfitted with a Glock. Hardly the anti-tank equipment you would want for dealing with this man in this site. Swinging on out into the three players here. And Vitality going to get the pistol round locked in. Elliot put up a stat earlier. I can't remember the exact numbers. It was in the first half. But uh, how about, you know, RPK's rating is, is this. But in pistol rounds, he is, it, it just goes, it skyrockets. It goes up astronomically and vitality have very good pistols off the back of this man he shows us right there it's like breezy on eg man if you watch eg play a pistol round it feels like no matter what like every time i watch eg play pistol rounds breezy gets three doesn't matter the situation doesn't matter whether they win or lose breezy gets three and that that is the same for rpk it feels inside of this team so harry Look, I'm, I'm not putting my money on vitality i'm not betting my house on vitality but i am keeping my eyes glued to this screen despite the dominant first half because that pistol round for Vitality can spur them on. And again, we know Na'Vi have had troubles on the T side, especially on the map that, okay, Vitality haven't been playing a lot recently. Guess who else hasn't been playing it a lot recently? Na'Vi. So, Perfecto's looking into a wall with his knife out. He's going to get shot in the back. And that will be a clean round for Vitality. Na'Vi coming in with guns in the next. And this is a must-win round for Na'Vi, right? They don't want to start letting Vitality get confident and building together on the CT side because it can take three or four rifle rounds, add in the anti-ecos, and suddenly Vitality are, are up to 10 rounds. So, you know, just, yeah, I don't know, Harry. I don't think it's as clear-cut as the scoreline says. I really don't. If we, if we have to go off with the previous maps in this series. Well, this is an attempt at running the bonus round for Vitality, which at this scoreline, to me, is both ballsy, but also screaming confidence from the Vitality side. However, Nade Stack has found its way onto Apex early on. So a man advantage taken for Na'Vi. Not only now do they have the firepower advantage, but they're leading in manpower as well. They're going to leave Flamey to hold on to the extremities of this B site. Now, Vitality, they've pushed two players down into water. That's going to be RPK and Masuta holding this short side. And 
with this kind of aggressive lie down at B, they're going to start to get tempted to push. And as this happens, the splits come in from Con. The timing seemingly couldn't be worse for Vitality there. Zywoo is going to spring on out with a kill from the B site, and so Na'Vi will slow it right down. They will reconsider their options, but they're sat in this three on two. Very much Vitality with their backs against the wall here. Both these players down at B. This is at least going to allow Shocks. I was going to say to upgrade his gun, but he hasn't bothered looking. But one of these AKs that was dropped over at short side is instead coming on a very fast rotation into A. I like this from Na'Vi. I would love yeah. for them to slow down and have these players at short bait the players into the site for electronic. And that looks to be the decision. Instead, on the back of seeing that and hearing that they're still trapped in CT, they're just going to take this plant. My Tati thought it was a fake for a second. They actually ran down to B until they heard the bomb. So, yeah, really not convinced at this point. They're going to give it a go, but first man down and second man out. Zywoo wants nothing to do with this clutch, and he will give it away to Na'Vi. And, yeah, okay, now, uh, Harry, yeah, Na'Vi 2020, baby. It's already over. It's done. It's lost. It's uh, I'm, I'm, All my confidence is back. Yeah. I never doubted them. I well, knew it was going to happen. Here we go, man. You know, this is, this is an interesting <laughs> talking about outside yeah. of this series. Uh, but for anyone who's been too busy watching this matchup and maybe hasn't seen, per sources, obviously not 100% confirmed just yet, but per sources, Zipnix is looking to take a break from Astralis, but not even a break, actually. It says that he's left Astralis for the time being. It whatever, reasons. Whatever, whatever that means. Zipnix out of Astralis, check HLTV. Yeah, that's a wild one. Yeah. How if does that, that is... sit with you, Twitch chat? Let us know. Cool. Hashtag DHMaster. In the report as well, it mentions the fact that Astralis are, have asked NIP about acquiring Lecro, which is a very interesting one as well. So, I mean, there's a lot of things to talk about. I imagine our analysts will give it a, a bit of a, a brief bit of talking as well, maybe after this map or coming into the second series. So, yeah, I mean, stick around. Like, that's, you know, that's a crazy world we live in. We were talking about it a little bit at halftime break, Harry, about how, you know, actually, I, I think we'll get, we'll save it for later. We'll get to it later, but. Yeah, very interesting timeline we live in. Astralis without Glaive, without Zip. And without S-Tag, yet at least, still waiting on that contract. So, got some time for Astralis. Na'Vi, they aren't waiting around. They are pushing and prodding at that B-bomb site. Boom is looking for a pick, gets mollied, and Vitality have three on B with a double log setup. This is quite a weird one. Even though it's not getting countered, even though Navi don't realize this, they could walk through A, not only plant and clear the bomb site, but even flank into B right now. So you can actually see Mizuta's in the CT checking the stairwell on a timing because he's scared of Navi coming in on a flank. This is just a big gamble from Vitality, and it does pay off for a kill in the short term. Electronic gone, and now, Vitality might want to look at rotating B because that's where Na'Vi are heading. No perfecto though, he could win this round on his own or he could call the bomb to follow him and that would be a big mistake considering these aggressive positions of Vitality. It would probably be better, better to flank B, but Na'Vi don't know that's available. Perfecto's about to get beaten by Zaiwoo and he will get dropped as well. Shox is in the T-spawn right now. He's going to be great in the late round and Zaiwoo just needs to hold on to A for the short term. Must feel terrifying being Perfecto in this situation, Ooh. but Flamey, he's got your back, Perfecto. He's got your man. However, have you got his back? Because they get shot in it by shocks. The turnaround attempted from Simple, but it's not enough. Six on the board for Vitality. And Na'Vi, no money left in these bank accounts. Well, there is money, but it's like a, it's, a, it's, it's an awkward amount of money. You don't look at this and think, yeah, man, let's take this investment. Because here's the thing. like If you're Na'Vi, it's 13-6, and there was a time where this was 12-3, and so slowly but surely, Vitality are making this competitive. They're gonna come in with an investment, but it's nothing more than a hero AK on simple with the rest of the gang still with money available. So this is a this is a kind of risk that you can afford to take. It's gonna leave you with one player a bit more limited in this next round, but that's not the end of the world. And the, the, the difference between this one and when, and when Vitality did it with Zaiwu in the first half is that Simple actually has players with armor around him. So every kill that he gets is a gun gifted over into the hands of armored players. And even if Simple dies, that AK can be retrieved. It can get juggled around. You could still get a lot of usage out of your kit in this round without sacrificing the future. So it's the same kind of reward here for Na'Vi, but a bit less of a risk. Let's see if they're able to get anything done with it.
Ooh, the spam could be well timed. Vitality moved to the monster as Na'Vi leave this position. They walk right past that smoke into B water instead. And actually pushing and prodding is simple. Getting a bit of damage off into both those B players. Simple gonna try and fake connect and not going up on Na'Vi. They are fully dedicated outside of B right now. And Vitality know that. Look at Shox's position. He's pushed up a toilet. He knows that A side is pretty empty right now. And Na'Vi is gonna commit with 25 seconds. Mizuta on the swing gets one doubles, triples, and Mizuta shutting it down. Four kills off of one spray, one mag, one guy. And he puts Vitality on seven. RPK, I think, found one kill in that mix. But yeah, nice mow down from Mizuta. A couple of those players' armless certainly makes things easier, but that was a nice little spray, and it will keep Vitality in the lead, uh, or not in the lead, in this game, rather, as Na uh, Na'Vi have money to buy back up. Perfecto has dropped a gun to Simple, team player as is tradition, and now Simple's got exactly what he wants. The AK, Electronic running out mid, does he realize the AWP is there? Zywoo's peeking off of the timing and will just miss it, falling back because of the party Molotov, and actually wants to hang around in mid for the fight. Simple slicks back through the smoke, and so Zywoo sees nothing, but he might get caught by Electronic coming up through mid. Luckily, Zywoo very fast in his rotation and supported by shocks. It's no problem, at least not yet. And this is Na'Vi doing the same thing. Na'Vi won't be again, Harry, but the only difference is they're putting early A pressure in to not only keep Vitality on that top side, but get rid of some util, hopefully work a pick to draw a rotation, and then a late B hit in this round. Yeah, you'll know when this B hit begins, because I'm imagining Electronic is going to rotate back to retrieve this bomb. And so that should be the kind of go signal for Na'Vi. Uh, 50 seconds left and you'll see Electronic moving back now and as he's taken up this position they get delivered a kill down at the B bomb site. And they are making progress, they are getting in, but they still don't have this bomb under their control. Now Electronic's going for it, so there's going to be time here for Na'Vi. Rotation's coming through for Vitality though, this is the one downside. Na'Vi, they've got the bomb site, they're in a position where they can try and contest for this plant, but it's not able to come through just yet. And this has allowed Vitality to push on in and start to take up these positions in the site itself. So now it gets a little bit CQB, a little bit close quarters here. And well, Vitality come in swinging. Wow. They lock it all down. Three for Shocks, two for Masuta, eight on the board for Vitality. And I tell you what, coming into the second half, I wasn't believing in the comeback, but Vitality, they have got it now. It feels like, right? They are on the path to making this doable. Yeah, and right there was the inverse, Harry, of, of one of the rounds actually Vitality lost in the first half to Na'Vi. Remember that round where Vitality were late with the bomb to A? They go and they take the site. Na'Vi are forced into CT and, and then Vitality late plant and Na'Vi retake. Well, the same thing just happened there on B, but the inverse for, for Na'Vi and Vitality, right? Na'Vi, they get B, they get the kill, they get the site, but they don't have the bomb and they just have to wait. And in all of that waiting, Vitality know it's B and they just group up and set up for essentially what is a retake, but they don't even let the bomb go down. They wait for Na'Vi to bring the bomb. They wait for them to move out of the monster. And when they commit to pushing from pit to site, that's when Vitality just storm them with four players. So yeah, really good read. That's why this late bomb that, that, that's killed both of these rosters in this game uh, is, is a bit of a problem. And that was around that Na'Vi even had the pick into B as well. They will lose it. You say it yourself, Harry. It's come back. You can't count it out. And that's why I was sort of believing coming into this half, because Na'Vi have had their troubles on the T side. And again, one round in this game, on in this second half, out of the six played. Like, that's not that's not something to go off. That's not positive for Na'Vi. And yes, okay, 13 rounds is great. They're only three away from taking this series, but will those three come? That's the question. Vitality giving them answers, and the answers aren't what Na'Vi want to hear. It's going to be a ninth round here, dealing with the pistols. Another buy from Na'Vi, but this is do or die right now. Na'Vi may have called, uh, pulled the comeback on Dust 2, but Vitality might have the one up their sleeves here in Overpass. Lots of players here for Vitalik. They are going to try and take these fights. Uh, okay, cool. Don't really know how he wins that <laughs> one, but he does. He loses a teammate in the process. Masuta is a bit of a punching bag in that situation there. Now a four on four. If Na'Vi were to have quick played into B, 
There was only Apex here with so many players aggressing down in mid. However, now the rotations have come through and one by one, these fights go down. Right now it's all even, but Zai Wu, he's a man who never likes to know the odds. And he's going to hold down at this B site with everything he can. A minute left on the clock and Na'Vi, they, they've stayed away from B. They tried to get in. And at the first sign of that pesky Zai Wu fella, they've slowed it right down. I move peeling all the way back onto Graffiti. Going to try and hold this one from afar with the AWP. Play me out from Pit. Two players in from it short. And Zaiwu given an angle. They haven't smoked bridge. He's got that information. He sees the bomb get thrown across. So he knows there's a man in the site. And he knows there's players at Catwalk as well. Information for Vitality. But is that going to be enough? A three on three. Shock's closing the gap. Molotov. That's going to come off these players at short. Vitality knew that there were guys here. And so they isolate this one fight inside of the site. Now they set up the deal with this double short hold. Smoke down on the bomb. Simple. Going to rise to the occasion oh. with the AWP. It does baby. shut down the first man. Shock's tapping it, trying to bait these shots out. Ooh. Gets tagged by Simple. Oh, oh dear, he's knifing on the bomb. Shock goes up and over, but the shot's not connecting. They've lost each other in the smoke. It's a very weird round, and now the smoke fades. Shox gets deleted, and Na'Vi, 14 rounds to their name. They finally get another T-side round up on the board. Yeah, Flamey makes a big play there. He only gets away with one kill, but that really sets Na'Vi up for that two-on-two. -two. He plants, and then he crosses into the pit, and, and that is of huge value. He avoids Shox, who runs on the bridge, and essentially gets behind Vitality on that retake, killing Zai Wu. Shox trades, but Flamey really provides the, kill, the kills in that round that make that happen, and Simple and Co. close it out in the post part. Na'Vi, they find another round, and now the sweat wiped off of our brow. Just that little bit more. Oh, it's back again. Shocks dropping electronic in middle and starting off this round for Vitality. Perfecto's had to smoke the molly in the con, uh, con side and come out into B short here. His no support in middle, so going up those stairs would be a, a big danger right now into enemy territory. Saiwu is there with the rifle. Shocks has the AWP over him. Keeping it after that mid pick. So... Interesting turn of events here as Na'Vi decide to bring that bomb back through spawn. Perfecto is going to work up into middle with his team. But they've got to clear out so much lost map control. All the meanwhile, Flamey's holding on to be sure, knowing or trying to stop Vitality from getting aggressive and communicate rotations up towards that top site. If Vitality run up towards A, he can't hear that from B. So more info potentially for Na'Vi that they could use. But right now, no one moving. Steadfast R Vitality with a man up. They have no reason to change this setup. I don't know if I even want to go here. It looks like an A play with Boomich pushed up. Flamey's passive outside of the monster. And again, we can always come back to, you know, if Na'Vi don't get this first kill or things don't go well, they, they can drop down connected to B. But right now, Flamey is selling a fake. He's kept three players at monster. This is of great value as Na'Vi commit with 20 seconds. Oh, and Boomich getting that kill has opened this A site right on up. Bomb plant going to come on in for Na'Vi in a four on three. Team Vitality, they have done well to grind it back to this scoreline. And now, faced with a three on four retake that they are going to go for. They're not playing for overtime, but with that kill going their way, maybe they are. Maybe they are backing out of this one now. They felt like they had a chance in the three on four, but not with only RPK and Apex. They back off, they save, they hold on to these weapons. But it's match and series point for Na'Vi. Just five kills away from locking in a victory here over Team Vitality. Yeah, I really like that round for Na'Vi, right? Like, they completely deny the information for Vitality. Uh, the way they do that is by never coming through mid off spawn. They actually just go connector early. And so the only info Vitality you have is Na'Vi are in con and outside B. Na'Vi then late walk up con with that bomb coming from spawn. And by that point, Vitality, they're a man up, right? So they've fallen back to the A site very passive with Zaiwu and Shox uh, on A. And so Na'Vi, they're able to have Flamey outside of B on his own, throwing four grenades into the B-bomb site, spamming. And while that doesn't do anything in terms of force rotation, because Vitality are confident because they're a man up, they just keep uh, three deep in monster and Na'Vi execute into a two-man setup with both the entry kills. Simple gets right-clicked in the back by a knife by his teammate in spawn to start this round. So not what Na'Vi wanted, but at least it's on the AWP at the end of the day, right? Simple can still find effect despite not having the help. Na'Vi... Not making it easy for themselves, though. 
Luckily, only one round, as you said, to push them over the line and to take this best of three series. This is, of course, the opener for Group D. We do have the rest of Group C, or at least one more game from it, coming up after this. That godsend spirit game getting moved to a few days' time. I would imagine that's related due to the fact that Mir was having power outages yesterday for the side of spirit. So that's why we're here in Group D, and we're here to stay. Na'Vi, they might be as well. They get a quick kill to jump a trade from Apex around the corner. He gets tagged up, but he does get away with his life. That's the most important part, as it keeps vitality in this four on four. Na'Vi still sat outside of B. Three players on lower with Zaiwu solo orping on that top site. Na'Vi with the bomb outside of Monster look like they want to commit, and into the stack they go. Flash in and Masuta. Okay. Oh, okay, right. But, but, uh, Boomich getting that equalizer, leaving it back at a three on three, and maybe the blinded Boomich. Is that enough to make this round doable for Navi? Perfecto, fast in from Cap. Blind sides Apex, shocks in with a response, still here fighting at this side of the map, but Boomich catching another. And this one all falls onto Shock to keep 